Hey guys, welcome back. So this video, um, I just thought, sorry, my sock's fallen down. <laughs> very appropriate, very professional. Um, so why am I here? Oh yes. Um, so this video, I thought I would just walk you through some of my, my favourite Christopher Pike books. Um, I have quite a few. I don't have all of his books. I'm going to just put that out there. I certainly don't. But um, out of the ones that I do have, um, these are my favourites, or the ones that have stayed with me for the longest. So, I adore Christopher Pike. Um, I think I've mentioned this before. Again, you'll have to excuse me. I did have a video, uh, a channel before. Um, it was on my tarot channel, um, and I kind of split the videos. So, I can't remember if I've done this video. So, I apologise if you see two of them wandering around YouTube. Um, but, yes, yeah, so um, he's the reason that I started to write. He's the writer I wanted to emulate. I think the first um, story that I ever wrote and finished, it was a big chunk, you know, almost novel length, I'd say, was completely inspired by one of his stories. And I didn't realise until I read it back this year or last year, I found it and reread it. I was like, oh, OK, I definitely just lifted his story, but changed some of it. But that's how we learn. Um, so, yeah, he was one of my favourite um, writers. Um, I don't know if that still stands up because teenage me is very different to woman me, but I still enjoy his books. Um I brought a couple of new ones recently. I tried to read one of them and I didn't like it at all. Um, I don't know if that was because I'm no longer who I was or because it was just rubbish. So let's get into the video before, you know, you get bored. So one of the first ones that I'm going to talk about is The Whisper of Death. Now, when I read this one, I didn't like it, but it was creepy as hell. It stayed with me. So, um... We have Roxanne and Pepper, and they leave their small town for a weekend to try and solve some problems they've been having. They don't really succeed, but when they return home, they find their town empty. They call other towns, but they find the whole world empty. I think I will like to reread this. Um, it was very different. Um, and it was very different when I read it. It wasn't quite, quite what um, I was expecting. Um, it kind of, I think... Um, in, in not in a bad way but some of Christopher's work just gets further and further away from horror and more fantastical and very alien based which is fine because I do love some of his alien books um but this one hmm, this one is very very messed up um it's a I don't want to tell you too much because it's a lot of text on the back I can't read it all through um but there's more to meets the eye than the, the world just being empty so this is one, this is definitely one of my favourites and the front cover is just epic. So another one that I read and they turned into a film. Um, and I haven't, have I seen the film? I've seen snips of it. I don't think I've seen all of it. And that is Fall Into Darkness. Um, for a long time, this was one that I reread so much. Um, it's about a group of friends that go, um, what do they do? They go like camping or they go for like go cliff scaling and um one girl dies and her best friend is on trial for her murder but everything is not what it seems and it is such a twisted layered story i don't know whether i couldn't i couldn't say now whether they were actually like deep characters i don't think they are but the actual story itself is amazing i love it so and that front cover again awesome um and then we're kind of down. I mean, I've got a few that, like, I really do, like, I like, but I don't feel like they're here. Like, give me a kiss. That's great. And die softly. You know, really good. Um, but the next ones I'm going to show you, the last four are the ones that are like, wow. So this one is one of my most read. I even wrote a play based, not based on it, but because of it. So this is Last Act. And this follows, I can tell you what this one is because I know it. This one follows um, the story of a um, new girl in town. She tries out for a school play, but on opening night, there is um, an absolute uh, tragedy and she is questioned for murder. There's a theme. I'll give you that. And again, I like this one. Um, whether or not the, the motives of the characters stand up, I'm not sure, but... I really enjoy reading this one and I think it's clever and I really love, I do love all of the characters um, and I think um, it's, it's definitely one of my favourites, hence why it's left to like one of the last four, but yeah. And again, gorgeous cover. This one was from the library. Um, 
I didn't steal it. You can buy books from the library sometimes. Uh, my first adult Stephen, uh, Stephen King, I do beg your pardon, Crystal Pipe was The Seasons of Passage, and this was the book I emulated when I wrote my first ever story slash novel. This um, is do a reread, and I adore this book. Um, I've only read it three times. The first time I read it, I skipped the altern um, alternating chapters, um, and I didn't understand <laughs> when the end came. I was like, well... Oh. So I had to go back and reread it with all of the chapters. But this one is a um, story of an astronaut. Um, she has the whole world respects her. Uh, her name is uh, Lauren Wagner. And uh, yeah, so she um, ends up hearing voices in her head telling them to love her. And it's messed up. It is so messed up and it is so good. And yes, I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, it's yeah. This is his first for adults. It says on the back, first first for adults, and it was four pounds ninety nine. They don't make them like they used to. Eh? Um, the next one I've read again. I've read most of his books more than once if I liked them, and that's the Final Friends trilogy. Bear my first ever sprayed edges. Um, this is um, this follows a group of teenagers, and um, we kind of we lose some along the way. Motives come come out. Um, love blossoms is uh it's it's really good <laughs> or in, in my mind the memory i have of it is so good um the main character and i think it was jessica's the main character I wasn't a huge fan of jessica if i'm honest but the rest of the cast sarah polly and alice um and boys as well again i really i really dug them um so we have the party the dance the graduation. So again, it's YA. So, you know, you've got to expect, you know, some pizza slices, some prom queens, um, uh, and it's American, which is fine. No shade, but, you know, uh, British schools tend not to have this kind of setup, you know, um, although we have, I think we've adopted the prom culture, but it's nowhere near as good as the Americans do it big. Um, but yeah, I'm waffling and I've only had like two cups of coffee today, but there you go. And then finally, my favourite Christopher Pike book, and I think many people's favourite Christopher Pike book, is Remember Me. I adore this story. So this one is um, Shari. I've always called her Shari, but I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. And um, she comes home from her um, a birthday party and people are pretending that she doesn't even exist. And there's a reason. This book goes goes so many places. I love this book. Um, I think it is clever thought out I love all the characters in this book all of them that doesn't mean that does also mean somebody um I thought it was great and if I'm not mistaken yes I have two and I have three um two is so good as well by the way um and I can't remember three um I know I've read them all um but one's the best two's awesome three can't remember at the moment but definitely his best personally again that's my personal opinion. Uh, yeah, so um, really, that was my thoughts on my Christopher Pike books. Um, I have a new one up here, actually, that I brought recently. It was in the charity shop. It's The Last Vampire. Um, I haven't I haven't read any of it. And it's so annoying because all of my other ones fit into this kind of mould. Um, and this one doesn't. It's different. But I don't know if it was ever published like these. Um, so, yeah, that is all of them. I think, let me see if I've got any that... Um, I think this was the one I tried to read quite recently, which was uh, the Star Group. Yeah, or was it this one? It was the Eternal Enemy, Enemy, or it was the Star Group. One of them I tried to read recently, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> so I don't know whether or not we'll come back to that one. Um, this one, Sati, was an interesting one. Um, again, doesn't match any of the covers. It wasn't my favourite, if I'm honest. Um, like I said, Give Me a Kiss, I liked, Weekend, what else we got, Die Softly, The Lost Mind, that was one that um, I remember, I bought this, and I, re and I read it, and I was like, mm. and I really don't, don't really remember liking it, and then I reread it, and it was just, I think it was just a little bit more clever than I, I was ready for, that's all, so there you go, I won't keep, I won't keep waffling, or will I? No, I'm going to keep waffling for a second. So um, along with Christopher Pike, I started off with um, Point Horror. I, I got rid of a lot of my Point Horrors when I was moving. And 
I feel terrible for doing that. I absolutely do feel terrible for doing it, but it's done. I can't undo it. I can rebuy them, but I probably won't, if I'm honest. They were a time gone by and I'm not getting rid of them. So while you're here, I will quickly just share with you my favourites, which is probably all of them because I kept them. Um, but my absolute favourite is Beach House by R.L. Stein. Um, this has I'm always been one of my favourites. It's creepy. Um, it's malicious. Um, and uh, spoiler, there's an actual death in this. And out of all the other ones I had read, I hadn't read them all. I couldn't actually find a real actual death um, that took place. So this was my favourite. Followed right behind by Freeze Tag and Twins by uh, Caroline B. Cooney. Um, I love both of these. These, along with uh, the Beach House, are my most read. As you can see, they're pretty battered. And these were bought new from Otikas, if you remember Otikas. And W.H. Smith. Uh, Hide and Seek. I remember trying to read this. And I, it starts at the end. And that threw my little teenage mind. I was like, why is this starting at the end? Uh, really couldn't get into it. But um, Hide and Seek is also pretty good. And then... Um, I do have a few others. Um, this is the only one that I don't, I haven't read. I haven't read out of the ones that I've got up there. This is the only one I haven't read. And this is Prom Date. Um, the reason I haven't gotten rid of this one is because I was on holiday with my brother and my father. And my father is deceased now. And um, I begged him for it. I was like, please, can I have a book? It was, it was only 3 99 but he couldn't really afford it. You know, he was on holiday with me and my brother. So we were spending a lot of money as it was. And I begged and I pleaded, probably cried. And he brought it for me. And I never read it. <laughs> so I can't get rid of it until I read it. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's that one. And then this is a point horror book. But I think it is probably... A point romance um and it is the stranger it is definitely one of them. again i think caroline b cooney must be my one of my favorites because she is always the most read this is about jethro um and um jethro is not about all the other boys i find this book sad and heartbreaking i there's no horror in it for me whatsoever i don't find it horrific um i find it sad and painful if i'm honest it's so painful to read um but yeah do let me know if you've read this and what you thought uh, and yeah, that's it. I mean, I have others, but we won't go through them. But yeah, that, <laughs> thank you for joining me on my trip down memory lane. And um, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thanks, guys.